Almost everywhere you travel around the fringe of Antarctica, there are extraordinary life forms waiting to be discovered. Sometimes just beneath you. Working in Antarctica is like being an explorer. You don't need a boat, you can just drive a Hagland or a quad out with a trailer full of gear. Near the Australian research station, Davis, lies a famous region of rocky outcrops called the Vestfold Hills. It has rare ice-free zones where animals like seals haul out to breed. But it also has a fascinating and largely unexplored marine environment. An old study from the 1980s indicated they housed extraordinary tube worm reefs like those found nowhere else. It was like eight kilometres long and down to 30 metres deep, you know, right up to the surface. We thought it was a really good opportunity to go back to these, some of these places and have a look to see if they were still there and get some good footage of them. The ice cover provides both a research platform and underwater access without the need to get wet. You need a fairly decent sized hold, about 40 centimetres, and that takes a bit of, bit of effort in itself because the ice sort of varies from one and a half to maybe 1.8 metres thick. We actually had a new remotely operated underwater vehicle, like a little mini yellow submarine that we call the Isopod. It has onboard cameras, little lasers that are useful in measuring the size of things. And then you deploy this robot essentially under, under the ice and use that to map and record what you see on the seabed. So you've got well over, you've got nearly 120 metres worth. You know, we'd only had basic descriptions of these communities and, and when we put the ROV in, it just it blew our minds. Beneath the ice, the ROV beamed back images of a rich marine wonderland. 